Hello. Do I trust you? Do we trust the robots? Yeah, they seem friendly. All right, anything to scan here? An alien relic. Weird. Uh, also, I can make the blue ones now that I've... Yeah, I can. If I had a fabricator. Oh, well, we've got a warp gate fairly close. Um, if I need to go back. Let's read about that alien relic, shall we? This device is a rudimentary version of the keys used to access facilities. Oh. This one. Unpowered, suggesting it serves a ceremonial rather than practical purpose. Okay, it's just got a statue. It's got a sword. An ancient earth blade. Huh. Blood samples of the blade match DNA of seven, seven separate heads of state from the period. So they've been to earth and they've collected stuff. This is, the carving is hundreds of thousands of years old, made from unrecognized natural fiber, likely grown on an as yet undiscovered planet. This one looks interesting. Let's get a rifle. Yeah. This weapon appears to be million, millions of years old and matches no previously encountered technology. Millions? What the fuck? That's pretty mad. This device is some form of communications rel relay, apparently projecting the presence of the user to a remote location. I wonder if that's what they're using to um, talk to me. I feel like I need to power up this thing somehow. I don't know how. There's loads more relics here, though. Let's check them out. Oh, I scan one of these ro robots. Hey, me, you. <laughs> Get scanned! Let's have a look. Does not match any known human technology, although its design is relatively simple. Features few moving parts, carries rechargeable ion based power, reliable and energy efficient. Relatively harmless, is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers. What's the point in it then? Just scan them all and then we'll look them up. Alright. Got a bunch of new stuff. Oh, one more. Oh, it's opening. Hello. Does not like being scanned. Huh. Okay, okay, let's check them out. That's one. Despite its simple design, this device contains enough potential energy to destroy an entire planet and most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. That's not that reassuring. <laughs> it's unclear why technology of this sophistication has not been found elsewhere on the planet. Its production may have been restricted or too costly, or it may have been pillaged from a more ancient civilization. This case contains highly sophisticated nanobots capable of infiltrating a foreign body and deconstructing it from the inside. Oh god. This rock-like material features biomechanical parts that match components identified on the warpers encountered on this planet. Materials such as this may have been even a fundamental building block of the aliens' own self-repairing mechanisms. The markings on this device seem to serve no purpose beyond decoration. It may be an alien equivalent of a lamp or magnifying glass used to examine other relics in more detail. And finally, this device appears to be designed to eliminate all organic substances in range by emitting a lethal but contained radioactive field. They've got a very eclectic collection of things here from human swords to like doomsday devices. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Right, we're gonna explore. Let's go through here. Hopefully we'll find another blue relic if we explore enough. Oh my god, there's so much here. It's like a museum. Do I want to look at it all? I kind of do. This looks like eggs. All different kind of eggs, though. Huh. I got like one of everything from this planet. Oh, the data thing. Okay, let's read this. Emperor Egg Hatching Project Data. This device records all available physical data from a single point in time. The last recorded data set was captured just after quarantine was imposed on the facility. The main containment chamber here housed a Sea Emperor Leviathan and its eggs. Okay, that's what we've that's what it is. We found out what it is. A Sea Emperor Leviathan. So it's a big ass thing. The parent Leviathan's health has deteriorated. Its eggs appear to be in good condition, but in some form of natural stasis. The data shows that within the vast specimen containment unit, an incubation system has been constructed to house the Leviathan's eggs. Likely, the alien researchers had refocused their efforts to develop the vaccine 
on the unborn infants. The incubation system suggests they had resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes which would stimulate or simulate rather the natural hatching environment. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and access points to the facility were sealed. While the unborn emperor specimens may have held some potential for the development of a vaccine, it is highly unlikely that a parent or children surviving survived having their food supply cut off and being isolated from the rest of the ecosystem. So it sounds like the thing died before they could get a vaccine. Not ideal. I am looking for a vaccine. I'm also getting really hungry and I have nothing to eat. So I've just been pottering around here. We need to find a warp gate that I can get back somewhere useful on. Is there a warp gate in here that I can activate? Come on, please say there is. Oh. Okay, this is a large place. Big corridor. Nothing yet. Oh, this looks like a warp gate. Who fucking raw? Okay, where's this gonna take? What was that? Well, that's better. <laughs> that animation worked. All right. Warp gate activated. What the fuck is that noise? Yeah, let's see where it goes. We need to find some food. And some we've got water, but we just need to find some food. Oh, we're inside the cave. Oh, I don't think I've been here, but this looks new. This is in the is this in the river? Six hundred and twelve meters down. This is somewhere new. I don't think I'm gonna find any food. Wow. Should have a little quick explore. Since we're here. We're not underwater. That something. Ah, there we go, now we are. So we are now in the river. Okay. There's a fish there, though. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it's not edible fish. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> Alright. I'm not finding any food down there. <laughs> not an ideal place for the warp gate to go, I must say. We'll have to get back to our tree base soon. That's where I came from, okay. Well, yeah, nothing here really. I wonder where this is. Somewhere in the river. Can't tell. If I could find that again, this might be an easy way to get to this place though. It's somewhere in the river. I really need to come back with some more beacons. Next time I come back, I'm gonna bring like five or six beacons and just like scan them all over the place. Because I don't think we're gonna be able to get into this one unless we can find, a, find an artifact. This looks important. Oh well, two more rooms to explore, then we'll head back. I wonder if getting back, hmm, I, getting back to the lava place, the uh, thermal plant is probably the best idea. Oh, another gate, another gate, this is good, this is good. Wait, okay, I've got lots of iron crystals, good. Okay, this is good, this is this might take me somewhere useful. Come on, please, 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 please. Please, please, please! Somewhere outside. All right. 200 meters. Oh. Weird. Where could this be? God, I really need a um, beacon. But this looks like I can probably find some fish here. I do not want to lose this place, though. There's some peepers. Perfect. Jeepers creepers. There's some peepers. Can die. What? All right. This is good. I found a food source. <laughs> There's a peeper there. Come here, peeper. You delicious bastard. All right. Okay. Good. I think we're good to go back. That was a lucky find. <laughs> I guess we can explore a bit longer now. But we still need to find a blue, um, another blue artifact. If we don't find one, we're gonna have to go back and craft one. Right, two more rooms to explore. Two more. Another corridor one? Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god, what is this? 
This is so cool. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. What does this say? Alien pump. Machinery is pumping water to and from the attached pipe network. Oxygen deprived water is being flooded from the system. Analysis of the water composition flowing in indicators is being drawn from different biomes between here and the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility and oxygen rich. Got some plants down here. Got some cool looking windows. It's like an aquarium. Nothing in alive in there, I guess. No, I probably couldn't survive this long. All right, let's go and check down here. Oh, this goes deep. Deep, deep, deep. Wow, okay. Yep. Where are we going? Oh, okay, more pipes. Is this it? Nothing to see? Nothing to scan? Scan the pipe. Peepers. Peepers accessing the facility via pipe network. Shit, that's what I saw. Like, this is the filter. This is where it goes. That filter I found. This is where it goes. And then I saw peepers going into it, didn't I? Oh my god, this game is so good. These inflow pipes are being used by peepers to access the otherwise isolated facility. Peeper behavior elsewhere on the planet suggests they are not being sucked in by accident, but rather have evolved to actively seek out the correct access points. The specimens scanned have all consumed high quantities of seeds from the surface world. Specimens show different levels of bacterial symptoms. Are they feeding the emperor? Are they, is the emperor being fed by peepers? That is freaking weird. Yeah, look, there they go. Oh, they're so cute! And I just ate them. They're so tasty though. They're old already, look. Just fish just don't, don't last like they used to, you know, fish. Well, that's very interesting. So maybe the emperor's still alive if the peoples are feeding it seeds. Although I don't think you could probably, how many seeds would you have to eat to survive if you were a giant emperor leviathan? <laughs> A lot. Different pipes. Peepers exiting the facility. These outflow pipes are transporting peepers out of the facility and back to the surface. All specimens scanned are carrying the enzyme, which inhibits bacterial growth and helps the body repair symptoms of infection. Stomach cavities are all empty. So they're going and feed. Like if they're getting the, they're getting the disease, and then they, to in order to cure it. They're going down these pipes and getting the enzyme from the emperor. That's what I'm, that's what I'm calling it. I'm calling it the emperor is still alive and it's giving the enzyme to these fish in exchange for seeds. Have I got any seeds? <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> I need some seeds. I need to feed this guy seeds. All right, last room. Oh, another gate. Okay, this is pretty. This, this could be. This could be the one that I'm looking for. It might take me right back to my base. <laughs> Freaking wish. Let's find out. 300 meters down. Not ideal. It's pretty low. Where am I? Definitely exploring this warp gate network a bit better though. So if I had just found this, I guess I wouldn't have it would have been locked. Where the hell are we? Just, are we out? Are we in the blue balls area? Hmm. What was that? It scared me. <gasps> That's why it scared me. It's a big scary fucking bastard. Okay, well, hmm. We're still a long way from our base. <gasps> oh, fuck! <laughs> I came in! You fucking came in! That made me jump so hard! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Now, I would like to get back to base to craft the blue artifacts so that we can come back here and open that last room. We have to somehow get back out of this area, escape the big fucker, and get back to the Cyclops in safety. Oh no, no, no. That's my death. I know it. Fucking death right there. 
missing warpers. Honestly, I hate them so much. I haven't got any health and I can't heal. Can I get back to the um the lava, the thermal plant? That's what I'm trying to get to. Thermal plants there it is up there. Okay. Okay, I'm going the right way, I think. Oh buddy owl. Where was the cave? How high up was it? It was slightly above this, I think. It was a green glow that I saw. Ah shit, where was it? God I wish I had like a whole bag full of beacons. Is that it? Yeah, there you go. We got it. Lava, lava, lava. I could still die here. There's warpers everywhere. Alright. There it is. Oh shit, is that an egg? That's an egg. And I cooked peeper. I cooked, I got, I got food. <laughs> Not peeper. Whatever it is. Red eye. Oh. Ow. I didn't look if it was old. Apparently it was really old. We're nearly there. Ugh. Eh. Fucking let us in. Damn it. Ha <laughs> ha. We did it. Whoo. There we go. Okay. Now we just need to get teleport. Teleport back. There we go. And we'll get back to base. Safe and sound. Alright, when we come back, we'll come back with a frickload of um, beacons and another blue artifact. Or two, just in case. <laughs> Should have got one before. Damn it. Oh, is this the, is this the thing that zapped me? Is this like right at the end? Oh yeah, the thing that zaps me. I don't want to do that again. Disable facility. But I, I guess you can only do that once you've cured yourself because it wouldn't let me because I was sick. Sick. Sick like a dog. Okay, well, that's good. No. Uh, where's the way out? If we want to come back in here, we go through the moon pool entrance and then just straight across. But we do have to find the moon pool entrance, I guess. It shouldn't be too hard. It's splashing all about. I'm going to repair this thing before I go any further. Actually, I might just leave it here. I'm going to come back with the seam off. Probably is more sensible, isn't it? And I'll leave the seamoth in the, in the moon pool here. Okay, well, I'll leave you here. Stay safe, my friend. And uh, here we go.